So last year for Earth Day, I reviewed Bong of the Dead, a horror comedy from the 2010s. But this year, I'm reviewing something completely different. This year, we're talking about Bong of the Living Dead, a horror comedy from the 2010s. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matt, sad little Matt. Matt then decided these movies to watch. Episode Bong of the Living Dead. <sighs> Hello, plant lovers. I am called Matt, and yeah, I'm reviewing a movie with basically the same title as the movie I reviewed last year. Um, Bong of the Dead makes a little more sense to me. It's a play on the title Dawn of the Dead, and the fact that Bong of the Living Dead came out second makes me suspect they wanted to call it Bong of the Dead, and then found out about this Bong of the Dead, and had to change the title. Bong of the Living Dead is a 2017 film from indie director Max Go and stars mostly really small-time actors. Although they seem to be doing okay for themselves, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them does something big down the line, but right now most of them are primarily known for Bong of the Living Dead. Although I think someone attached to the film has been editing their IMDB because every fact in the trivia section is about a film festival this won an award at. But hey, let's see what adding the word living adds. This is Bong of the Living Dead. We begin with a story of the protagonists as children, pulling off a heist to retrieve toys confiscated by their elderly neighbor. Among their stash, they took a baseball bat, which they now use as a pipe. What? Why would you smoke out of a bat? I mean, okay, obviously this is a setup for them killing a zombie with that thing, but... It's made of wood. It's flammable. You would be inhaling as much bat as you would be weed. Which is not even to mention how difficult it would be to hollow out a bat for that use. Just get a pipe. Or a bong. Or roll a joint. Or anything but smoke out of a bat. Oh, but wait. They have a bong. Why even bother with the bat? Oh, good going. You just spilled the weed everywhere. We meet the leads. Christ, Hal, John, and Tara. Stoners who work at a video rental store where a woman is mad about some funny-sounding porn titles. So this is an indie comedy about stoners working at a video store making jokes about porn. That's just clerks. These people got together and they made clerks with zombies. Actually, now that I say that out loud, it sounds pretty awesome. I'm willing to see where you're going with this. Carry on. Although Clerks came out in 93 when video rental stores were a thing. To be fair, I looked into it and apparently this was a real video rental store in Columbus that shut down about a year after this film was released, which kind of proves my point. Video rental places aren't much of a thing in the modern era. Anyways, they're smoking weed in the back when some soon-to-be-dead coach shows up to berate them. Then we meet Hal's girlfriend, Dr. Kate Mitchell, talking to another doctor about losing three people to infected bites. Why do so many zombie movies take place in and around hospitals? Isn't that the least safe place to be? That's where they're taking all of the infected. And then we meet who I guess is the guy's other roommate, even though the four of them and one of their girlfriends all seem to live in the same house. And she and her friends are just needlessly rude. Yeah, those are free. Just have some. Can you not do that in front of me, please? That's disgusting. Sure, we'll accommodate the person we didn't even invite up here. <laughs> 
I'm sure they'll survive. Also, this guy is doing a voice. I don't want to stop. No one talks like that. Then there's a scene of the guys sitting around talking about zombie movies. Some schools of thought would say they're capable of basic cognitive reasoning. I mean, didn't one of those later Romero films have zombies with guns that could, like, talk and shit? Now, on the one hand, having characters discuss and talk about the cliches of a genre has, in and of itself, become a bit of a cliche within horror movies. But on the other hand, I'm a stoner who won't shut up about zombie movies, so... Fair play, I guess. Also, there's this line. I love whatever weapon and or event John just referenced. I'm expressing frustration at the duration of this conversation. I liked that. So we see Christ and his date and two of those three assholes from earlier at Makeout Point. You know, Makeout Point. <laughs> Woo! Props to this edit, though. What the fuck was that? It was a zombie! Clever. What if Independence Day really happened? Like in the future. And the filmmakers were like time travelers who, who went back in time to, to make the movie so that when it really happened, we would know how to defeat the aliens. That is such an amazing thought. Disagree. And if Roland Emmerich were a time traveler, he'd have known not to make Godzilla. And yeah, a zombie eats the assholes. Oh, and there goes Chekhov's bat bong. And we get to the title card 20 minutes in. What are you, Gaspar Noé? Also, Christ just shows up. There was no indication he saw the zombies attacking the assholes. I, I guess we see his car drive away, but he doesn't seem in any hurry. And they keep using weird VHS footage. I think of old zombie movies as transitions, and it never fails to be very disorienting. <laughs> like, you're trying to figure out what's happening, and oh wait, it's something else. And I don't want to bury the lead here. I, I enjoyed this movie well enough. But you know what this reminds me of? House of the Dead. The, the way House of the Dead would just use footage from the games between scenes. And your movie should never remind me of an Uva Bowl movie. That is when you know you've messed up. When your film reminds me of an Uva Bowl movie. Also, they have like four pipes. Why is anyone smoking out of the bat? And just to confirm my theory that the word living wasn't supposed to be in the title... Cause I'm with Captain Bong of the Dead over here. Let's get high first. You know what? I understand completely. If the world's ending, I don't want to be sober. Dude, those were just Mormons! Oh, and the evil coach from earlier? Yeah, he dies in a montage. Totally worth the setup. No. No, if you want to die. I mean get naked or something and touch each other. Uh, I think it'd be a really good idea. And... How is every guy in every movie I review the king of bad timing? Crash and burn, man. Crash and burn, dude. <laughs> the next morning, Hal's got a bunch of crazy stuff cooked up in the garage. Deadly gardening tools! I took apart that old table, got four fucking clubs out of it. Wow, I am kind of turned on right now. Hmm. Me too, actually. We go out at the crack of dawn. All right. Any questions? Uh, I, I have one. Why bother fighting these things at all? I mean, if you've got to go for supplies, that's one thing, but you guys just seem to be going out and fighting these zombies for fun. And that just seems needlessly dangerous. But they gear up to fight, and the situation seems pretty calm. Which is unique, but admittedly probably more realistic than we think. I don't know, I think they're onto something with this. So they get high and play video games. Dude, I don't need to watch a movie about that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do when I'm done writing this video. And this disease keeps them inside so long they get bored and run out of weed. Insert coronavirus joke here. They get in a big argument about whether they should get away from here, 
board themselves in or go out and kill. It's a serious dilemma and with one really alarming factor to consider. Hey, we're running out of drugs. That is the worst thing I can imagine during an apocalypse. Oh shit, is that an anti-flag poster? Hell yeah. There seems to be romantic tension between John and Tara, which is a little weird because I thought these characters were siblings. Granted, they never said they were related, it's just something I inferred. But if they're not related, why was she always tagging along with them as a kid? And the version on Amazon Prime keeps freezing in this scene. At first I thought it was my Wi-Fi being janky, but no, it did this on my TV and my laptop and my phone. That's just a glitch in the Amazon system, I guess. Unless this was some attempt to cover up the brand of cigarettes she finds, in which case there are better ways to do that. And so they sit around high watching bad movies. Again, exactly what I'm gonna do when I'm done here. And then a zombie bites Dr. Kate's arm so Hal hacks it off. Which is kind of the first big bit of action we've gotten in a long time. So of course, things have to come to an absolute standstill afterwards. Despite clearly going for a dramatic moment, they also decide to include a sexy shower scene? How am I supposed to jerk off to this? Everyone is sad, Kate might die, or be a zombie. Oh, but wait, then the girl who just got sexy for us has an allergic reaction to a cookie and dies. And here's where the film kind of lost me. Like, I think they could have pulled off this tonal swing, but this just doesn't work. You cannot kill off a character in your wacky zombie comedy with allergies and play it straight. Either this needed to be a bit of dark humor, like... Haha, she can survive the zombie apocalypse, but not a coconut cookie. Or you needed to kill her in a more serious way. So now the zombie apocalypse is ramping up, and Christ does not seem to be taking his girlfriend's death well. Meanwhile, the characters who, up to this point, have been amped to kill zombies are suddenly not so sure about it. But Kate's up and ready to fight. And I gotta say, they are showing a bit of restraint not doing an evil dead joke where they replace her hand with like a bong or something i don't know if i would have had that restraint so they throw a molotov cocktail without lighting it i think once again amazon's copy is freezing on me i gotta say it this action is kind of limp and it's been that way all movie but i was holding out for one good action scene and it just doesn't happen I get it, they're on a budget, but the other Bong of the Dead was on a budget too, and it's a fucking gore fest. Hell, I know people on YouTube who do amazing action scenes with no money. This shouldn't have been that hard. Just one gory splatter scene to tie it all together. And they don't even make it out of their front yard before Hal gets bit and they retreat. Pinned down, they find their neighbor's hidden stash of weed while John and Tara... Boy, I hope they're not siblings. So they retrofit a leaf blower to blow weed smoke at everyone. Which is also something they do in Evil Bong 4. But I'm kind of ignoring that movie right now because I don't want to review it, but I know I'm gonna have to. They make it to the truck, but because of his bite, Hal stays behind to fend off zombies as long as he can. And a bittersweet montage plays us out. Uh, where are they going, though? The movie just kind of forgets to tell us what their plan is from here. And that's Bong of the Living Dead. In some ways, better than Bong of the Dead, but in a lot of ways, not nearly as good. I don't want to call this a bad movie, clearly it's not in the same ballpark as a lot of the stuff I talk about, but frankly the worst part of this movie is just how close it comes to being good. I, I like the characters, I care about them in a way I just don't for the characters in most of the shit I review. They're charming and well acted. 
the film, for the most part, is well made. There's just a lot bringing it down. The action isn't fun, there's weird tonal swings that don't work, and there's stuff it seems like they just don't bother thinking all the way through. Still, I commend their efforts. The people behind this seem like people I would very much get along with. And despite my criticisms, there is definitely an audience for this. If this seems interesting, please support these filmmakers. There's a lot of charm to this movie. But when it comes down to it, Bong of the Dead is way more fun, way more action-packed, and way more tonally consistent. So, yeah. If you haven't seen my review of Bong of the Dead, there it is. And, uh... Until next time, you happy Earth Day. I'm gonna go get high. Who wants some motherfuckers? Fuck you, that's who! I told you exactly what I was gonna go do. Get out of my face.